um, if you met a coach, a trainer, somebody who's working with other people uh, in organizational training context, who never heard of ACT, uh, what positive uh, aspects of ACT would you emphasize to convince that person to take interest in modern behavioral science and how it can affect you as a professional working with other people? Well, I think one of the things that ACT uh, does very well uh, is to uh, orient uh, a person to the fact that um, you need to treat people and relate to people um, as a whole human being who is in a certain context. That is that you have a person who is a worker, who is a uh, partner, who is a parent, and that the thoughts and the feelings that they have are important in helping them to define for themselves who they are and what they want to do and who they want to be. And if a coach is able to identify that, they're better able to work with that person to show them and to allow them to see for themselves how working in their particular organization in a particular way is going to be useful to them. So I think one thing that differentiates ACT from other approaches is this uh, trying, is this integration, piecing together the person and the organization and asking the question is how do I relate as a worker to the thoughts and feelings that I have? in a way that's going to allow me to be the best type of worker that I can be uh, within this company. And so I think that it serves both the individual and the organization very well. Uh, most of the time, people can learn to change the way that they relate to their thoughts and feelings and to uh, the work that they're doing in order to accomplish it better. And that's very good for both the individual and the organization. But I think that the, the, that the coach or the consultant can also help the organization design systems and to improve leadership so that they're better able to uh, work with their employees in order to get the best out of them without also you know, sucking the lifeblood out of them as well. And I think there is a difference. And I don't think that, you know, both have to occur. That is, you can motivate someone to do well and to live in a way that is going to be good for the individual, but also for the organization. And I think that ACT has a big role to play in teaching people, such as coaches, how they can do that. Well, that's a good question, and it's something that I think uh, many people, coaches and people themselves try to do, is to motivate themselves uh, by using such quotes or, you know, um, kind of mantras as to what may be best. But I would say, firstly, the data do not suggest that those are effective. So if we just want to look at data, where is the data? There's no indication that that actually works. And in fact, um, you mentioned RFT. Uh, a lot of RFT research would indicate that that should not work. And indeed, um, a lot of the work that we've done in ACT would suggest that that would not work either. I mean, we've not actually tried to do that. And the reason why we've not tried is because all the evidence that we had suggests that it won't work. And indeed, the evidence that we do have from ACT says that you can't um, tell yourself something and have that 
motivational quote or that inspiration actually inspire you. You have to work yourself to discover what it is that is inspiring to you, what actually means something to you. And it's only by doing that that you're going to be able to find out what it is that is important to you. Now, uh, you know, so I can't say to someone, I want you to fall in love with this person. You know, if you just see their inner beauty or their fabulous qualities, you're going to be able to fall in love with them. So go ahead. It's your, you know, do that. It's, it's just you're not looking at things rightly. And if you are more motivated, you can fall in love with that person. Well, I don't think that probably works. Um, you know, at all. And, uh, you know, I, I, I would like to hear the person who, you know, has experienced that. Uh, but rather, if we're open to people, if we're open to our jobs, if we're open to what is important to us, uh, we may see that uh, a particular aspect of our job or a particular person may uh, be very attractive to us and that we may through interacting with that person by doing our job we may see that yes i rather fancy this person or i rather like this way of working or i like this job but i wish to do it in a slightly different way uh, by having more job control and still accomplish what i need to do so I think it's by doing that we see what's important to us. We can't tell ourselves what's important uh, before we actually are stuck in and doing it. And I think that's probably one of the main differences. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, My pleasure. <laughs>